Yes, yes it's still like this. this. Is, is that West Maui? So it's West, it's the West Maui Mountains. Wow. That's a good example. And so when Ken said earlier, you you get your eye tune and you see different colors and rays and different greens and, and you begin to pick up on the fact that, that it's a very diverse place. It's not just a monoculture. And so that was obvious. I remember when I got out of the helicopter thinking, I'm not a trained botanist or at all, and yet I can see the difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can just see the difference, you can feel the difference. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing because most people I think will not have an opportunity to be in a native diverse place like that, maybe ever in their lives. And it's something we evolved in these places. It's part of who we are as humans. It's who, it's our souls. And I just felt a kind of, you know, thankfulness to be able to experience that, but also a loneliness that it's not still part of our day-to-day -day mm -hmm. existence. Um, but yes, it is. It's protected. And there are other places. I mean, with Ken and Steve especially, I was in many native places. But that place really comes to mind because it was the first. Mm -hmm. And it's a bog habitat, so you can see it. You know, you're not in a, uh, you're not in a understory. You're, you're, you can look out really see this sort of mosaic of diversity out in front of you. Yeah, it's powerful. Mm -hmm.